welcome to the another session in frontiers in cfd welcome to the today's session on frontiers in cfd so today we have cfd simulation of lithium ion battery pack with paraffin wax as a pcm and a fluid flowing through a serpentine channel so the today's objective is to prepare the 3d geometry of lithium ion battery pack with pcm and a fluid flowing through the tube uh, the objective is to understand the heat generated for unit volume and to study the effect of flow rate uh, the next objective is to apply the boundary conditions and visualize the results so this is the specification of the geometry that we are going to follow for the today's session uh, heat generation per unit volume will be considered and will consider the flow velocity so that is 0.03 meter per second so you can join the channel in order to get access to geometry file which will involve only geometry if you required any consultancy support for cfd so you can go with the second option third one if you just want the image results of the simulation uh, which has been done you can go to, go with the third category and last one is the access to setup file so this involves complete setup uh, right from the geometry mesh then uh, setup which has been done and lastly uh, uh, complete results so the last option it involves everything so uh, this will be a file which is uh, shared in the form of google drive a link uh, which is to be run on the version which is run currently and higher than that thank you so welcome you all to another session uh, today we are going to prepare the geometry with the help of design modeler and we'll do the analysis on the same so first of all we will go with this geometry and for this geometry we have used the design modeler units we are set to millimeter so first of all i will just create a primitive that is a box so first create a box let's click on any one of the plane uh, here if you see the dimensions 147.146.37 and then the the dimensions on the other side is 113.8484 and this will be your 65 so let's make it add to frozen and let's make it generate so this is the geometry that we have prepared <coughs> now we have to generate this kind of cells which are been available on this geometry so each of them are separated by 23 as a distance so accordingly we are going to proceed with this geometry so i click on click on the plane so from which i need i need it from the face so i selected the base face and accordingly i am going to proceed for this geometry okay now this is how the object which has been generated as of now now i need to shift the uh, i need to generate the object of cylinders and casing so it is at a distance of 23 and making an angle of 45 degree so I will just slightly transform this so I will make it transform now which is this this Z component observed by Z I will make it 45 so as soon as I make it 45 <coughs> this object will be oriented in this direction now again I will make it a second transform over here so I will make it edit and second transform I will shift it in X direction because this is my X direction so I shift it by 23 now it will be generated here so let's make it here so now let's create a primitive that is a cylinder instead of add material now I will make with a slice material so on this plane I need to generate so plane 4 I will select make it apply uh, radius I need it uh, uh, diameter is 19 so I put it 9.5 here this component I will move at 65 sorry this is 0 no so according to this we have to follow so blue is your z so z component i will make it 65 remaining component i will make it zero okay now this is actually coming from the bottom i will just uh, make it uh, minus 65 so that it will come to the bottom so let's make it generate so now this is the first uh, the cylinder has been generated sorry cylinder with casing has been generated we are yet to uh, generate the cylinder so first of all we will try to generate all the 
the casings and then we'll slice the geometry and make it cylinder so one more uh, thing which we will be doing over here so let's create a primitive either you can generate a kind of cells also so that is also one way so I will just now create a cylinder as a primitive uh, again the plane I will select as a, as a plane 4 make it apply instead of add material I will make it slice material this head component I will put it minus 65 now I will just select the the x component as 23 so what will happen this will be shifted at this location so let's make it generate and this is slice so one more time I will just make it primitive let us say cylinder instead of add material I will make it slice material so this is the z component which I required as 65 so I will put it minus 65 here so x coordinate I will make it now 46 because earlier we took 23 here I need to select the plane that is plane 4 make it apply and generate so I generated three such cylinders as a so three such cylinders as of now we are actually considering this as a with the casing so one more time one more cylinder the base plane I have to select as a plane 4 make it apply here make it slice material once you do the slice material make this is a minus 65 and let's take now it is 69 so first we have took uh, 23 then we have took 46 and lastly we are taking it 69 so let's make it generate so ensure that what the values you are taken so first you are taken 23 then you are taken 46 then we are taken 69 so one more time let's create a primitive that is a cylinder again the base plane will be your the same plane that is plane 4 instead of add material I will make it slice material x component now we will take it as uh, 69 plus 23 that will be equal to 92 so let's make it uh, sorry uh, this x component will make it 92 this will be equal to 0 this will be equal to minus 65 and remaining things will be as it is so this look at this location the things are generated so we want total 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so one last object will generate so go to the create let's say primitive that is cylinder instead of add model I'll make it slice metal make this is a minus 65 now 92 we have taken now it will be uh, 95 then 105 and 115 so not Z it will be X component that is equal to 115 so again the base plane has to be selected as a plane 4 make it apply and let's make it generate so here we have generated 3 4 5 6 total 6 uh, such kind of cells over here now similarly we have to generate all this on this side also so what I will do here I will create one more plane uh, here uh, from from which I will select I will make it plane 4 uh, here I will make it plane instead ok so plane 4 I will select as a base plane now I will just uh, transform this in x direction by what distance I will put it I will put it by 23 then I will put it uh, the offset y direction so what will be my transform y I will put it minus 23 so minus 23 means I will be reaching here at this location so let's make it generate so create let's say primitive that is cylinder now for this I will take the base plane as equal to plane 5 instead of add material I will make it slice material so the first component will be as my at my location so I put it minus 65 and let's make it generate so it will be generated here so remaining components I will make it on the other side so one more time just go to the create let's say primitive that is cylinder instead of uh, this x5 plane I will select plane 5 instead of add material I will make it slice material so this will be minus 65 then this x component will be equal to 23 and let's make it generate so we have generated the second one so similarly make it primitive that is cylinder plane you have to select let us say plane 5 instead of add material I will make it slice material so x component I will uh, put here as now 46 and this uh, this will be minus 65 and so on so now what I will have again will be generating at this location so one more time just create primitive that is cylinder instead of add material I will make it slice material so this x component I will make it 69 
this will be minus 65 and I, again I need to select the plane view let's make it apply and generate so at this location we have generated it so one more time just take it primitive let us say cylinder instead of add material I will make it slice material plane view make it apply and this is minus 65 and this will be your so 23 46 69 now it will be 92 so let's make it generate so how many cells we required in this direction so 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here also we required 6 so 4 5 has been already there so one more time let's get okay so let's continue so here i just put the plane view here make it apply and instead of add material i will make it slice material now this will be your 1 1 5 so this will be minus 65 and accordingly at that location we will be having the object so here you can see so the object has been appear here similarly I can uh, create one more plane so let's take it a plane instead of from plane I will take it from plane so make it a plane for you here make it apply and I will just shift this plane by Y plane so that is uh, I will put it by 46 so it will be here make it generate and now I will generate the objects in this direction so create let us say primitive that is cylinder instead of XY I will select the new plane make it apply instead of add material I will make it slice material so uh, the Z component I will make it 65 sorry minus 65 this X component I will make it 23 uh, sorry first will be here only so I'll just make it generate so it is generated here the second component onwards will be by uh, that distance so instead of this plane I will make it XY instead of add material make it slice material so this is minus 65 and this will be X component will be equal to 23 so the object will be generated at this location and make it generate so one more time primitive that is cylinder instead of add material make it slice material so this plane will be plane 6 make it apply so x component will be minus 65 here the <coughs> sorry z component is minus 65 this will be equal to 46 so the cell will be generated at this location similarly one more time let's go to the primitive that is cylinder instead of add material make it slice material so z component will be again minus 65 then x coordinate will be 69 I ensure that the plane has been selected uh, make it apply as a plane 6 so it will be generated at this location so now I have uh, this object which are been generated here similarly be required on the other locations also so one more time just create new plane I will just take a reference of this plane itself like plane 7 okay uh, I will just say plane 6 make it apply and from this plane 6 I will transform it in x direction first by distance that distance that is equal to 23 and then I will shift in y direction by distance that is equal to again 23 so this will be my new location of the plane I will make it generate the plane so create let us say primitive that is cylinder now the plane I will select is a plane 7 make it apply instead of add metal make it slice metal so first will be on the exact location of plane so make it 65 and generate similarly one more primitive that I will generate that is cylinder instead of add metal make it slice metal the plane you have to select the plane 7 here uh, again this will be your minus 65 this uh, x component will be equal to 23 let's make it generate so this portions we have tried to cover so we are left with uh, the, this uh, portion so this is our plane 6 this was your plane 7 and this was your plane 5 so we'll take in reference as a plane 5 uh, right now so make it offset by say first x distance that is equal to 23 and offset by y distance I will say minus y 
so here I will put it minus 23 so I will be at this location make it generate so this is the new plane has been generated so one more time I will do with the similar operation so plane we need to carefully select make it apply instead of add material make it slice material X component I am not putting here anything because I am first we are generating at the cell only so let's make it generate and here so one more time just go to the primitive take its cylinder instead of the earlier plane uh, okay uh, the earlier plane we need to select make it slice material now x component i will put it 23 z component i will put it minus 65 so let's make it generate so it is generated at this location so one more time take it primitive that is cylinder uh, instead of xy plane i will select the plane which is generated right now instead of add metal make it slice metal x component i will put it 46 and this will be your minus 65 so let's make it generate so this is here so one more primitive that we required here cylinder instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so i will put it 69 now and this will be equal to minus 65 so ensure that the planes are selected properly here this is plane 8 and let's make it generate so this is what it is generated as of now so one more plane i will consider the base plane as the plane 8 i will make it offset x first by distance that is equal to 23 then i will make it uh, offset uh, y distance i will put it minus 23 so it will be on the other side so let's make it generate so create i will go with the primitive say cylinder instead of this plane i will place like the plane 9 make it apply instead of add metal make it slice metal i will just put minus 65 because it is on the plane itself and one more time i will just create one more primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal make it slice metal so x component i will put now it is equal to 23 and the object again ensure that the planes here properly selected make it generate and sorry where it is uh, okay this is your z component is 65 make it generate where it has gone I will just put in minus 65 now let's see whether it is visible or not yeah now it is visible so everything we did it uh, for the cells which we are having you can just take a quick look of the geometry how it is visible in the other direction also now uh, it's a time to actually uh, do the remaining part so we try to do the cylinders first uh, in all the cases we did in cylinders the radius was 9.5 now I will try to uh, generate the uh, okay so we have actually prepared the geometry now it's time to uh, we are done actually with the casings now we will try to proceed with the cells so on the similar note I will go with uh, the the geometries and accordingly we are going to proceed so one more time let's go with the create that is primitive that is cylinder so instead of add metal i will make it again uh, you can actually select the planes which we are had earlier so make it apply so instead of add metal make it slice metal now here i will put it 9 this will be i will putting minus 65 and accordingly we will first generate our circle so here the first it has actually been generated and accordingly we are going to proceed so one more time uh, create the primitive that is cylinder instead of the first plane i will just select the plane 4 make it apply instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so this is now 23 so this is minus 65 and we are going to follow the similar dimensions so let's make it generate at a second part let's one more time primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so i will go with the plane for which we had earlier so we'll make it 46 now and this is minus 65 and ensure that the plane is properly selected so this is plane 4 make it apply and then generate 
so this becomes slightly easy if you had it earlier instead of this first i will select the plane make it a fly instead of add metal make it slice metal so x component i will put it 69 so this will be i will be putting minus 65 and just make it generate so it will be generated at this location so create one more time that is primitive that is cylinder instead of this uh, i will select this plane make it slice metal then uh, i took it 92 here and i will just put it minus 65 and let's make it generate so it is generated at this location so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal make it slice metal i will put this z component as minus 65 and uh, this one will be now 115 92 flow. here um, select the planes properly let's say plane 4 so it will be at the required location let's make it generate so it is generated at this location also so one more time let's follow the similar process let's say cylinder so next plane is plane 5 make it apply instead of add metal make it slice metal so by default the first thing which we will be having it will be generated uh, sorry this is to be my uh, minus 65 here and make it generate so it has been generated here so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal make it slice metal plane you have to select carefully now it was plane 5 this will be your 23 and this will be your minus 65 so let's make it generate so this is second has been generated so similarly we'll proceed with the third one instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so now it is uh, 46 here this will be your minus 65 and uh, yeah plane i have to select as a plane 5 make it apply and generate so we are at the third location so one more time create say primitive instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so this y component i will put it minus 65 sorry not y component z component i will put it minus 65 here x component i will now proceed with uh, the uh, say 23 46 and 69 i need to select the plane 5 so please select plane 5 uh, so it will be at this location let's make it generate so this is one done so create one more time that is a primitive that is cylinder so plane i need to select as a plane 5 now this will be uh, 23 46 69 so i will take it 92 here and this z component i will put in minus 65 so let's make it instead of add metal i will make it slice metal and generate so it is done here so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal make it slice metal so x come uh, okay plane i need to select that is plane 5 let's make it slice metal so now it is let we this will be minus 65 and this will be your 115 so let's make it generate so it is generated at this location so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder now plane number i will select as a plane 6 as my location make it apply instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so this i will put it minus 65 and let's make it generate so this will be generated out one more time primitive let us say cylinder instead of x5 plane i will now will select the plane 6 and instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so this will be my minus 65 and this will be your 23 so let's make it generate for the second create let us say primitive that is cylinder plane you need to carefully select that is plane 6 instead of add metal i will make it slice metal so now this take it 46 here this make it minus 65 so we'll be at the second location and we'll generate the case, uh, cylinder so one more time primitive let's take it cylinder uh, this plane i will select as a plane 6 make it apply instead of add metal make it slice metal so let's take it 69 here so this will be minus 65 and let's make it generate so this will be the one which is generated so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder instead of add metal i will make it slice metal plane unit to carefully select that is plane 6 make it apply so uh, okay sorry and now i don't need plane 6 i need a different plane so let's go with the plane 7 so for plane 7 let's make it minus 65 and on the same location itself i will try to generate the cylinder 
so one more time primitive that is cylinder again the uh, the plane you will select select as a plane uh, 7 over here make it apply so and shift it this to be minus 65 shift it in x direction that is equal to 23 and let's make it generate so we try to do it for the topmost layers so similarly we'll do it for the the bottommost layers okay so one more time uh, let's create uh, primitive that is cylinder so the base plane that I will take is now plane 8 so make it apply instead of add metal I will make it s sorry instead of add metal I will make it slice metal so x component I will not put it anything this is minus 65 and this 9 so let's make it generate here so one more time let's take it primitive that is cylinder instead of this plane I will make it plane 8 make it apply and I will instead of add metal make it slice metal x component will be 23 this will be equal to minus 65 so let's make it generate so this is the second one which is generated one more time create a primitive that is cylinder instead of this I will select plane 8 instead of this I will select minus uh, 65 here and I will take this x component as 46 so it will be generated at this location and let's have the, this one so one more time let's say primitive that is cylinder instead of this I will select plane 8 make it slice material here so I will put it 69 here now and I will make it minus 65 here so what will happen it will generate the at this location so last two are left so one more time let's go with the primitive that is cylinder now the plane 9 I will select instead of 8 so instead of add material here I will make it slice material and I will just put this value as minus 65 and make it generate so last object get it primitive that is cylinder instead of this xy plane I will make it plane 9 make it slice material and this is to be taken as 23 and this will be your minus 65 and let's make it generate so we have generated it for all the layers now it's time to generate the so we are starting the sketch I actually selected the plane 4 on this plane 4 we are starting with sketch all the remaining objects I have skipped it uh, I hide the body so that it will be easy for us to draw the object so for this sketch I have just to put the dimensions so actually we have this as a radius 13 so that is a circle and we actually need a half of this uh, because this is 3 so what we actually need is the 11.5 uh, as a radius and 23 as your diameter so I will just put the diameter as equal to 23 here for the object and one by one I will just try to uh, prepare the sketches and uh, and we'll try to draw the lines <coughs> along with this and we'll try to make it at a distance of 23 23 and so on and we'll try to generate the curve so this is the first curve that I will draw so ensuring that distance is 23 so this is the first curve I try to draw <coughs> I will try to draw a circle okay so the dimension of the circle will be again same that is equal to 23 so these two circles will be touching each other at an location so uh, what I will be interested in I will be interested in drawing the third circle and will try to uh, we say get a kind of curve where this uh, path has been followed by uh, we can say the profile and we will be able to cut the profile so that is our aim today
mm, so this is uh, the thing which we are try to do uh, now the first circle is been drawn i will try to draw some lines again again from the same point i am considering so dimensions i will take it again that is equal to 23 so carefully we are doing all these things so as to avoid any kind of confusion so this is my horizontal line so vertical line sorry this also i require 23 so it will be at this location here so let's check the location whether it is exactly on the point or not so it looks to be exactly on the point so i will try to draw a circle over here on this location here the radius of that sorry diameter of that will be equal to again 23 so this circle should actually touch each other so that is our objective and from this point again i will just try to draw one vertical line so we need to ensure the diameter of uh, sorry dimensions of that line are 23 and let's check it slightly it is shifted or not okay this is we required as 23 okay so one more time draw a circle here on the same location which we had and this will be of same radius so definitely they are going to touch in order to check what we are done is correct or not a simple thing which we can do here is go for modify and just go for the trim operation so if you are able to trim only the required part here so we are tried to complete up to this uh, <clears throat> here what how the curve will come curve will come from this so you can go with the modify option let us say trim so this might not be the curve which is required so it will start from here here it will go here and it will come like this and it will go here 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 and it will come back from this line so in between that if it is something which is not required you can just trim out the things to avoid any kind of confusions later on during the drawing so this is we already utilized so you might not required this further so this curve will come from this direction so this will become will not be here as a part of the object so this will also not be the part of the object this one this one and now i may required here something so till the time i am not completing that i will not delete it so here this line may not be required and this may also not be required but this center it might be useful for us to proceed with the next part of the object okay i will just make it okay so now i will uh, go with the drawing of the lines so here i will proceed with the horizontal line from this so what should be the dimensions of this dimensions of this will be equal to 23 so this is my location and on this location i will try to draw a circle of same radius okay so what we had we had this one which is going here here so curve started from this it is going here then it is going here then it is going here and now i required <coughs> now i required the lines on this location so from this i will required a vertical line so i will just put the dimensions that is equal to 23 so with this i will try to draw a kind of circle over there and i will try to draw the lines also so here let's take it horizontal line so give the dimensions to it make it 23 so as to avoid any kind of confusion later on one more time so you can have a line which is vertical ensure that it is 23 so as to avoid any kind of errors so one more time i will just try to draw lines especially our dimensions that is equal to 23 
so this is I am putting now let's put the dimensions that is equal to 23 here also we may require it because it will come here and from this again it will uh, go down so let's check it uh, yeah so it is coming here it is going here then at this location we may require it so you might require to draw circles on this locations so let's try to draw the circle of a radius here then okay so it will come here so I need circle at this location also exactly the R thing then I need <coughs> few more circles also so one by one I will just try to draw the lines here in vertical direction so let's take it okay so make it here so by default I think it is 23 so let's make it a circle here it should be radius to both then this will be again radiuses so ensure that each and everything are been, uh, been involved there and so let's proceed with the lines further horizontal I will just put the dimensions here that is 23 then one more line I need, need so this is from this to this vertical line I put so let's make the dimension this equal to 23 so I will reach to this location draw a circle here and let's make it over here let's make the lines from this it will go horizontal and ensure that the dimensions are properly taken that is equal to 23 so one more line I required I will just try to highlight that line in the horizontal direction let's make it dimensions that is equal to 23 <coughs> let's draw one more line which is coming from this in the vertical direction so specify the dimensions that is equal to 23 so we are almost uh, uh, trying to complete the curves few of them may we may require I just uh, put it from this and in vertical direction let's put the dimensions that is equal to 23 wherever it has been required and let's put the last one which is required here so I just put it horizontal line I will put the dimensions on this that is equal to 23 okay so uh, at most of the places we try to have the points so one more line I will draw from here this one this will be vertical line ensure that the dimensions are 23 <coughs> okay so I will just go on to draw circles now so here uh, ensure this is radius with the both this is to be radius with the both this is to be radius with the both this is to be radius with the both there are some shortcuts also like copy option we can make use of but uh, there are chances you can make some error out of it so if it is precisely done then there is no not an issue but that is also one way of doing it so depending on whichever the method you are confident with so accordingly you can select the respective way not necessarily the way which I tried to follow you may have your own shortcut way of doing it so I am doing this in slightly in the longer way so make it circle and let's have one more circle here now so I think we are might require something at this location so let's take it from here a vertical line just make it a dimensions of this line as 23 
and let's proceed with the drawing some of the lines which we may require so I may required lines here so let's put it in vertical direction put the dimensions that is equal to 23 similarly I will put the dimensions here is equal to 23 and let's have the value let's make it 23 so we try to have almost all locations on which uh, we can actually draw the circles so let's see the circles which we may require further so I will just make it of the same radiuses make it of the same radiuses uh, here we might require so make it of the same radiuses okay so this will start from here it will go here it will come here and this is again coming back and go here 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 and it is coming back this so now we can actually uh, uh, make use of the uh, trim operations which are been available so one by one I will just proceed with the start step over here so here it is started from this location this location in between that if something is there that try to avoid it so here it goes this side this is not required come in this side this is not required so this is if it is there this is not required if some lines are there in between try to delete because they are going to make an error when we are proceeding for the next step so this is also going to get an error because it is going here it is going this like this like this like this so depends on which location you are so here going here going here this will not be there we don't want it at this location let's drill it the things which are not required on this locations okay so we have this curve which has been there uh, ensure that we are on the right way here it is here it is so we are inside now let's trim out the unnecessary things which are not required So this is also not required so some of the circles might be unnecessary but we don't know uh, when they will be required maybe as a as a reference dimensions also so that's why it is important to uh, draw a few things which might not be required later on but definitely it can be deleted easily later on so okay so we reach to this now from this we are proceeding on this direction here 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 and so we don't require this we don't require this we might not require this also this one so trying to ensure whatever is not required that you are trimming out because you might not be in position to complete the sorry this one wrongly we are okay some I will delete this 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 also here also uh, it looks like something error here I will just try to check it if it can resolve so before that I will just trim out unnecessary things which are outside not here ok seems to be having some error here I guess 
so I will just try to make a line here uh, horizontal line ensure that dimensions are 23 so H23 I will make it sure and I will try to draw a circle which is radius to both okay now I will try to modify it and we'll just check it is able to delete it or not yeah we are able to do it so there will not be any issue in proceeding Okay, one more time just to ensure anything which is left from our side or not. Just go with the sketch and just check it out. Okay, so this is left. Go to the sketch. Let's modify. Trim. This is when left. So anything which is left that we have to remove. Otherwise, it might go on to make errors later on. Okay. So, uh, if you know this location, that is one thing. Actually, we are preferring to go with the dimensions which have been provided here. So, uh, this one. I will just save the work before proceeding. So I save the work so that uh, even if some problem occurs, we can uh, give it. So I have tried to add the path over here, just like this. So I will simply modify this again, and so as to make it at the required place. Here also, I will do the same thing, so that the sketch will be of uniform. Uh, going back to my sketch, this will be my sketch now. I hope uh, we will have done it in the right direction and accordingly we will try to uh, proceed so I uh, we are hoping that everything is in correct if something is missing there are chances that we might make an error out of it so uh, we have prepared the sketch over here now I will just try to uh, get uh, this 11.5 as a distance and I will try to prepare one sketch over here again and uh, try to uh, create a plane on this distance and from that distance I will try to have a box type structure which is moving and which will cut out like a channel so let's go back to the geometry let's show all bodies which we had here so one more time I will just create a plane either you can go in this sorry in this direction also we can proceed so by default the zx plane we already have here so oh, this is one of the way of proceeding uh, just for checking uh, if i just select zx plane and go on to draw the sketch how the sketch will appear uh, that we can have uh, or actually we okay so instead of that sketch i will go with the primitive option create say primitive I will select as a box so it has been generated here x component I will put it 3 here and y component I will put it 65 z component which we had uh, okay see x component I put it 3 uh, y component I put it 
65 set component again I will put it 3 so I just put it minus 3 also not an issue uh, will be somewhere here but uh, I need to shift this by distance that is equal to I need to shift this by a distance that is equal to say this is 11.5 as a center so I need to shift it by 10 so I will shift this in x sorry z direction as equal to 10 so it will be somewhere here like this and now let's see the sketch where it goes so whether the sketch is going on the right direction or not that we'll see it looks to be the same instead of add material I will make it add to frozen and let's make it generate so this is uh, either you can put it 3 also not an issue here make it generate so what I will do here is okay I will make it minus 3 itself let's say minus 3 so this is the geometry which has been prepared now uh, so we have various parts uh, one is cell then we are given the names also that is casing so the geometry took a long time so uh, by preparing the path and then doing the sweep operation so it took long time uh, so some of the part uh, which we can say I will see directly here so this is the channel through which uh, which is made up of uh, uh, we can say some material we will consider it as aluminum and through that we are considering the fluid which is flowing that is water and this is surrounding to that we will be having a PCM so this PCM is also enclosed along the cells also along the casing along the casing of the cell and accordingly we have it throughout so uh, various uh, sections which we have specified when it is cell then we have casings casings involves many things which are available then we have channels and last one water which is flowing and the third last one which is we are having as a as a PCM so all these materials which we have specified now we'll just proceed with the next part that's related to the mesh generation so let's click on edit so we will try to have a mesh size which is uh, uh, slightly on the lower side uh, smaller size of mesh in order to have uh, comparatively accurate results so in order to proceed for so while doing this we might need certain boundary conditions that need to be applied later on so we need to do the pre the prerequisite for this during the mesh selection itself so let's generate the default mesh first and accordingly we'll proceed for the next part so we required a comparatively uh, a smaller size of the mesh so accordingly we are going to proceed uh, so that uh, there should not be any problem with the the current number as well as the fluid has been flowing so sufficiently smaller element size and within the limits we have the computational capabilities of the computer so we are going to proceed with this the meshing option so let's check uh, what is the mesh size here and accordingly uh, we'll proceed further so taking some time here so as of now in the preliminary stages uh, whatever the mesh size we are getting is not that good because uh, you can see the number of elements are very less so we will not be satisfied with this particular mesh which is we are having so I will just go with some 0 0.001 uh, here or I will take it 0 0.0011 first and we'll generate the mesh I need uh, comparatively smaller size of th the element uh, over here so that the the fluid channel which we are having so there will be a sufficiently smaller size of nodes and elements which have been available so if that is so in that case there are chances of having 
quite better results rather than the one which we are observing right now. So we'll go with some uh, checks also. Like let us see at 0 0.0011 what is the number of nodes and element we have. And accordingly we may check also some uh, values which may be sm slightly smaller than the, this, the element size which we have selected right now. So accordingly we are going to proceed further. Okay, so this looks to be quite better uh, as of now than the previous one. So we can have around, see it is uh, so quite bigger value which is we are having number of nodes and element. We took the element size as 0 0.0011. So we can actually further go with some uh, lower size than that also. But uh, the, the time required for the simulation might be slightly on the higher side. So let's take it 0 0.001 and we'll check it how the mesh is. So definitely it will be quite finer than this but again the time required may be more. So we'll just have to check uh, how much number of nodes and element it comes at that particular level and if the with this particular number of nodes and element if you are able to solve uh, with the given system then we can go with that size also or otherwise the previous one 0 0.0011 will proceed with. So more the number of nodes and element, it is likely that the time required for the simulation will also go on to increase. So so current meshing options is uh, setting does not generate the mesh. So that is one which we are having. So 0 0.0011. So I will take it 0 0.0011 as the previous one and we'll make it update here. So you can have 0 0.0005 also. So that may be one of the option to go with where uh, a comparatively finer size of nodes and element will be there and accordingly uh, more accurate results can be there. Definitely later on we can actually change the element size also further. So here number of nodes are 210, 3582, 239, 3159. So this is uh, the, mesh, uh, uh, the mesh count which we are having right now. So I will just go with the inlets and outlets specification here. So I will just specify this portion as my inlet. So that will be useful for us when we apply the boundary condition. I'll just mention this is as inlet. Similarly, I will mention this as the outlet. Okay, so we have specified two things. One, it is inlet outlet, and one more thing which I will go on to specify is the convection casing. So apart from the casing, I will hide all other bodies. So I will just select all these surfaces which we are having, and will specify the casing convection. So that will be in position to apply the convection on the surfaces in the latter section. So I will just mention here as a casing convection. Okay. So uh, this is how the things are been done. I will make it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just a minute. Okay. I'll just uh, make it show all bodies here. Then I will go back to mesh. I 
I'll make it update. So if the mesh translation to fluent is successful, if that message appears, you can actually proceed with the next step. Okay, so the mesh translation to fluent is successful. So that is just now we have received that message. Now we can actually close the mesh part and we can proceed further. So let's close the mesh and let's open the workbench window. So let's go with the setup, click on edit. So I will just select the number of processes my computer can run. So I selected 16 and accordingly I'm going to proceed with the simulation. So this can take some time. Okay, so you can see the arrows which are from inlet and outlet. So this is just for check you can have. So this is transient model we are selecting. We are specifying the gravity minus 9.81 because of the arrow which is here. So go to the model and I will put it energy equation on. So make it energy equation on. Viscous I will put it K epsilon. Then enhanced fault treatment, thermal effect and curvature correction. So all these are been enabled. Then I am uh, enabling the solidification melting. Make it OK. And then close. So we are done with the models. Now it's time to define the materials. So here I will go on to use the paraffin wax liquid. So I will just directly mention here as say paraffin wax LIQ ID. So here density of paraffin wax liquid I will just put 770. Then specific heat as I will put 2150. Thermal conductivity I will put it 0.2. Viscosity, I will put it 0 0.01. Then pure solvent melting heat, that I will put 240800. Then solidus temperature 313.6. Then liquidus temperature is 317.7. So these are the values which are taken from the reference papers. So let's put paraffin wax. I will put it liquid. Make it change create. Make it OK. And close so this is for paraffin wax liquid similarly now I need one more fluid which is flowing that is your water so go to the fluent database and I will select the fluid so water liquid it will be available at exactly below so make it copy and close so this is paraffin wax liquid so now I will just add in the aluminum itself making it paraffin wax solid So here also I will mention as a paraffin wax solid. Okay, so I will use the properties of paraffin wax solid. So that is 880 as a density. Then specific heat is 2000. Then thermal conductivity is 0.2. So change create, make it okay. <coughs> and then close. So apart from that we required the aluminum as a material so i will just go with the solids and select aluminum make it copy and close so here in the aluminum itself i will edit the lithium batteries so i just have lithium battery here so here also i will put let's say lithium battery so the specifications I will put, let us say 2750, that is uh, density. Specific heat I will put it 1250. Thermal conductivity I will put it 1 and make it change create 
and OK. So I put it lithium battery. Then last one, I required aluminum. So go to the aluminum, make it copy, and we ordered the aluminum. So we have three different materials for us. One, it is paraffin wax, solid and liquid, so that we already specified. The water liquid which is flowing through the channel, that we also specified. The casing will be made up of aluminum, as well as the channels are also uh, made up of aluminum. So that is one thing which we are going to specify. So let's go to the cell zone condition. So casing convection uh, here. So casings will be made up of uh, aluminum. So I will just put it as aluminum here. So one more thing which we need to understand is uh, which one is solid and which one is fluid. So select the fluid zone and solid zone. So PCM here, it will be fluid. I will just change it to fluid. Yeah. So here, paraffin wax liquid, that will be your fluid. Make it apply and this is your close. Second one, water. I need to select the water for this. So by default, it is paraffin wax liquid. So I will make it uh, water liquid over here. So casing convection, uh, the it will be made up of aluminum. So aluminum is already there. Cells uh, will provide the source term over here. So I will select the lithium add battery, source term. I will get source term here. So I will put some values uh, which are related to the heat generation rate. So I can I will go with somewhat higher value, uh, let's say 282, 189. So I am just going with the value which is uh, uh, sorry, this is not this is to be one. So this is constant. So I will just use some higher value of heat generation rate that is corresponds to around 5C. So make it apply and then close. So cell for the cell we have specified a source term. And in the source term, we have put some value to 82189. So that is a watt per meter cube. So next is channels. So what the channels are made up of? The channels are also made up of the aluminum. So ensure that the things which you are selecting are the solids. So once this is done, make it apply and then close. So now let's go to the boundary condition. So inlet, I will put some velocity here. Let's say inlet velocity, I will put it 0 0.05 meter per second make it apply and close then you will be having the casing convection I will just put here uh, some value let us say for convection I put it around heat transfer coefficient of 2 ensure that the casing convection will be of aluminum make it apply close wall cells again you need to select the material which we are having so wall cell uh, so they will be made up of lithium and battery no other parameter I am going to change here so wall channel again the channels will be made up of aluminum so make it apply remaining things will be same so paraffin wax again uh, here PCM is there so again we need to select uh, by default it is option is available so you don't need to make any changes even if you don't uh, uh, go and inside still it is okay for this so we are done with the boundary conditions now it's time to go for the report definition so how the report definitions are useful we can prepare the reports when the uh, the simulation is actually running on or while the iterations are running on so surface report i will put it area weighted average now first of all i will put the temperature so i will select the total temperature and that is at outlet print to console create output parameters so i will just put the name here as the total temperature at outlet so I just specified total temperature at outlet. I have selected print to console so that it will be visible in the iteration window. So that makes it OK. So now next is uh, surface report, area weighted average. Again, I put it, uh, let's say, temperature. So I'll put it total temperature. So print to console and create output parameter. So this will be the total temperature of system. So this will be my total temperature. So I select all of the materials which are been available here, make it OK, and then close. So third parameter I am going to add as surface area weighted average. Now here I will put solidification melting. So this is liquid fraction which I am going to consider. Now which zones I would like to consider over here. So I like to consider the zones which are related to your PCM. So I preferably go with the PCM region when we are proceeding for this.
so this is my wall PCM Okay, so this parameter will select at the last because I need to just check in the animation where it stands. So I will just go to the initialize here. Uh, I will just check out what will happen in the which are the zones in the animations and accordingly I will just try to display the PCM material and then we'll proceed for the uh, we can see the report definition which is left for the solidification and melting. So once this is initialized, I will. Uh, try to have the uh, simulation uh, animations okay so the calculation activities are there just put it auto save for 20 so I have this solution animation options available now here will be uh, it will be quite clear for us uh, which one which we are doing that is temperature first of all I will put it total temperature go to the color map option if you don't want exponential scale click on float make it apply and then close so I have selected here the I need to select here the total temperature so I selected all the regions make it save display and let's make it close so once this is done we'll make it close okay so this will be your total temperature which will be there so let's close select the contour I will instead of this I will mention is total temperature so make it okay now in the solution animation itself I will just try to uh, okay so I will go with the cell zone conditions here actually I want to know which are the regions with the given names okay so I just uh, want to display certain mesh so first of all I will not select any region I will just select wall PCM and we'll check it make it display so I, when I select wall PCM it shows only the wall region I need to have the internal uh, uh, specification also and that's why I will select some of the regions over here so make it save display now this is the channel has appeared I am not interested in the channel so I will not select this second one so here now again uh, this has shown me uh, some kind of walls but that is also not the one which I required so make it save display again so this is what the thing which I actually required here you can see so yeah some walls are actually been there for the PCM but internally they are actually again hollow so I will just check one more region which has been selected here so this is not useful okay this is your channel so this is also not useful so let's select this one okay so now you can see it quite better way where we are able to see the whole PCM uh, here we are able to see the whole PCM over here because the PCM is actually been there in a contact so we'll just select this one again So okay, selecting this doesn't make any change over here okay so this is not required okay so I just select 
Okay, so this shows me some walls also along with the PCM. So let's see what we want to select uh, from bottom. Uh, let's see this is required or not. Yeah, so this is the entirely what I required as the PCM. So from bottom we need to select the second and the fourth one. From bottom we need to select the second and fourth one. So remember this and this will be useful for defining the phase change material in the uh, we can say report definition second and fourth. So we'll just go to the report definition one more time. So whatever the pending work which was done report there so I left. So I'll just go with report definition area weighted average. So here I will take solidification melting. So this is wall PCM I will select. Then the second and the fourth that what we are interested in. Print to console then this. So mention this as a solidification melting. Okay, we have selected the second and fourth as for what which we have visualized make it compute make it okay and then close so we are done with the report definition we added all three solidification melting total temperature and total temperature at the outlet similarly in solution animation also we will go with the uh, contours total temperature so uh, here i will go with solidification melting liquid fraction now which one has to be done i will select the wall pcm and second and fourth option this is the second and this is your fourth option. Now let's make it color map option. If you don't want to visualize the exponential scale, make it float, make it save display and close. So exactly the PCM region will be visible to us. So exactly the PCM region that will be visible to us uh, available here. Okay, just a minute. One more time I will go with this edit part. So this is the pipe which we don't require. So this th third region is also I'm selecting. And this fourth one I will just skip it. I will check it how it goes. Yeah. So here. I have selected the second, third and sixth, second, okay. So for second, third, uh, it is better visible. I will just make it save display here. And let's make it close and make it solidification melting. So one more time just uh, go to this solidification melting. I will just uh, see this contour too. Which one we have selected? The second and third. So accordingly I will just go and modify the things which are there in the uh, report definition. Okay, so one more time, just go for the boundary condition if you want have any kind of confusion. Just go with the boundary def conditions and let's say display mesh. So I I select second and third only. So make it here. So this is how the only PCM will be visible. Okay, second and third if you are selected, only PCM will be visible. So that we are interested in. If I select the fourth one also, uh, there's not much change over there. But if you select not select the third one, uh, 
so here I am selecting second and third and accordingly we are going to proceed so make it save display and then make it close so go to the initialization we already uh, tried it once so we have done some modifications so I'll just put it initialized one more time and go to the run calculation just go to the run calculation I will just put value which is around let us say 10 first and then we'll see what happens for the first 10 so let's click on calculate you can take smaller time step size also uh, if there is a problem of current number you can take definitely can go with a smaller time step size again there are chances that simulation may require some time so with the whatever time step size uh, which we have selected at the same time whatever the mesh size we have selected so based upon that the time required will be comparatively more or less you can actually check your the utilization of the uh, we can say the CPU as well as memory it looks like I am utilizing almost 100% of my RAM as well as the CPU usages so it may happen that the system may take some long time in order to proceed for uh, the such kind of simulation so we'll just run it for the first 10 and uh, we'll have the clear idea of uh, how the solid friction melting curve goes uh, as well as how the simulation animations which we are set they are visible and accordingly we can actually make the prediction for the further processes so we'll wait for some time till this uh, 10 iterations have been completed and at the same time we'll visualize uh, the various curves which are uh, specified in the report definition as well as the the animation which we are going to visualize so it looks like the time required will be more for this uh, we can say process so what uh, I had tried to do is I had took a comparatively higher C rate so that we can visualize the results quite earlier so that is one um, that is why one of the reason why I have put took a comparatively higher value of heat generation per unit volume if you could have taken lower uh, the result could have come but as I, as we can observe this uh, number of nodes and elements are quite in bigger in number so that uh, we say the time required will be more and uh, we say in order to uh, see the solidification melting as well as uh, to visualize the curves and as well as the animation it might have took long time and that's why it's better to go with some comparatively higher value of C rate in order to visualize the things here so this has already take long time right from the preparation of geometry to the setup and we are going for a mesh and uh, we are running the simulation so it might take further more time maybe uh, maybe around 6 to 8 hours just for running the iterations in order to visualize the solidification and melting because the solidification and melting may not be visualized in the earlier stages where the temperatures are not reached to the melting point Uh, still the window is yet to appear so we can predict uh, the time requirements will be uh, quite higher in this situation so the utilization is again on the peak level so most of the things will be clear as far as the first 10 time steps are been completed okay now this is going to be open now so various windows will be there so this is the liquid fraction which has been there uh, as of now it will not be anything till the time it doesn't reach to the melting point of that particular liquid so here we can see uh, the heat generation for your cell so temperature is reach has increased by 0 0.08 so similarly you can have contours of liquid fraction again this is the same solidification melting this is the curve uh, this will be appear only when we reach to the so 
the near temperature of uh, this uh, melting. So this is a temperature uh, which shows the total temperature of the system and this is your the total temperature at the outlet. So as of now we haven't seen any much variation but uh, with some uh, time steps we might see this in detail. So we'll just wait for some time uh, in order to complete this 10 time steps and we'll come back again to visualize what is going to happen further. So we have completed around 10 time steps. So at the end of 10 time steps, we will see what uh, things are there. So we can see the total temperature is increased. Then solidification melting, nothing has happened. Controls of liquid fraction, nothing has happened as of now. But it will be visible after some duration when it reaches to the, the melting solidification melting point. So here, uh, as of now, only the uh, heat generation which is taking place, temperature has increased by 0.82. That has been visible. Along with the channel is also been there. So we have to run it further around maybe for next 100 time step then only we will be in position to visualize at least few of the things. So uh, we'll run this further uh, and we'll just check out what will happen at the end of say around 90 time steps. So let's start with the calculation. So we are at the end of uh, around 90 time steps. So we will be in position to visualize the temperature which is around 306.67. Uh, so 306.57. So around, around 100 time steps we have completed. In the 100 time step, uh, uh, we see the temperature rise by 6 degree uh, Kelvin over here. And uh, you can see the total temperature which is at the outlet. Total temperature then solidification melting. As of now it is the straight curve. But we might see some, uh, we can say, melting after once it reaches to the solidification and melting uh, temperature. So as of now, this is nothing here. Uh, this will be visible once the it will reach to this melting point. So this is how the images which we are having uh, for the time steps of around 100. So after 100 we might have to visualize this again further so uh, uh, let's say in around 100 time steps we are reached to around 6 kelvin so we have to do it uh, maybe further for around maybe 100 200 time steps so we might be in position to visualize the uh, the, uh, the solid friction melting also so let's uh, run it further uh, here i will just save the work Okay, so I just save the work. Now I will run it for further 100 time steps and then we'll see how the things are changing with respect to the 200 time steps. So let's put it one more time. This is 100. So you can see this scale residual, then total temperature at outlet. This is a total temperature of system, then solidification melting. As of now, it is a flat curve. Then uh, nothing is here as of now. Nothing is here as of now. But over the period of time, you might see some solidification melting here in this two region. And this is the last one and the simulation which we are having. So uh, depending on wherever the inlet we are having. So this is how the fluid is coming and it is going towards the other end. So we are able to see some development over this region. And we will have to check it uh, what will happen after further 100 time steps. So we will run it further and we will just come back again after performing that number of iterations. So we are at the end of around uh, 200 time steps. So 195 time steps have been completed. So you can see some uh, variations in terms of temperature that is 310.17. So as of now, it has been reached. So around uh, as per the properties which we are used, that is uh, the solidification melting. So 314 and 317, that is your temperatures at which uh, the solid uh, solidus temperature is 313.6 and so liquidus temperature is 317.7. So till the time it reaches to that value, uh, you might see some solidification melting that may happen and that may be visualized in the form of uh, the liquid which has been present. So right now the four time steps are been remaining. So we'll just uh, have may have to run it for further some time steps, maybe around uh, 100 or 200 time steps. 
uh, the temperature curve which is observing at now is the temperature at the outlet and this is uh, again the temperature curve which is uh, the total temperature curve there are chances that this temperature curve becomes flat over the period of time so you might not see some significant changes over the duration of some time once it becomes flat so we'll check it uh, till the time what uh, we can see we'll see the variations in terms of it whether we are able to see the solid friction and melting or not so we'll have to wait further uh, for maybe around 100 or 210 steps and accordingly we'll check out uh, what will be the outcome at the end of around 300 time steps So we'll see one message which is calculation complete will appear now. Once that's done, we will save the work and again we'll start running the same for further 100 time steps. So we see the message calculation is complete. So we'll just go on to save the work. Okay, once it is saved, you can run it further for some more number of time steps. So let's run it for further 100 time steps and just click on calculate. So we'll come back again uh, after 100 time steps. So after performing the iteration for a long time, uh, we have around 1000 time steps we already uh, performed, 1050. Uh, at this time step, you are observing the temperature reach around 314.45. Uh, contours of liquid fraction are not uh, visible as of now. Uh, I'll just see the way. Okay. So contours of liquid fraction, it is not visible as of now. So we might expect this to happen maybe around 317 Kelvin, which is nearer to 317 Kelvin. So it is not there. Then we have the total temperature curve. So this becomes flat after some time uh, here. The total temperature at outlet. So another curve which we are having. So it will take some, yeah, this total temperature outlet is also become flat. Scale residuals we have. So with this, uh, the temperature which we are getting right now, so solidification melting hasn't been observed yet. So, so 314.45, so the variations are very less as of now, but we'll still wait for some time. Uh, we'll try to run it the iteration for some time in order to visualize how the changes are been taking place. If we are able to see such a variation, then probably if it is reached to around 317 Kelvin, we might see the solidification melting available there. So let's see the, this is total temperature. Then this is solidification melting. The curve is horizontal as of now. We don't have any inclination towards vertical direction. So that is not there. So just we'll wait for some time to, uh, uh, let's have maybe some another 100 uh, time steps and accordingly we'll check uh, what will be the outcome at the end of uh, the next uh, 